Okay, what I want to do is I'm going to actually uh, take a look at this uh, right here. We're going to have you build this from scratch. It's called Monte Form Starter. It's great because it's a complete form. So your your particular project are, is full of forms, and so you need to learn how to build forms. And then once we get this done, we're actually going to take this, and this is done without Monte. Then we're going to take it and convert it into a Monte project. So we'll see how far we get today. But if you can just learn how to build this in Flex or Flash Builder, then you'll you'll be a long step ahead. Okay. So uh, go ahead and create a project. All right. So what you want to do to create a project, you can go to File, New, and create Flex Project, or what you can do is just right click on the white space here, go to new, flex project. And call it whatever you want. In my particular case, I called it Mate Form Starter because I'm going to actually create a form. And then just go ahead and save that. Mate uh, Form Starter 2, for example. Okay. And I'll hit next. And don't worry about anything else. And you can hit finish and just hit the finish button you're ready to go okay and then you have a blank project created and you can see mine's below here it's called form starter 2 and there's nothing in it right now and that's what we're going to do we're going to fix this up so i'm just going to run this project to show you what it's going to do so i'm going to run it it's really simple it's a form and there's no styling in it and uh it is using a burrito so it's the the form of burrito actually has an s in it now in uh before this, uh, they didn't have the S form, they only had the MX form. But the lighter S, which means Spark form, is available in Burrito. And we're going to build this from scratch. And then uh, you'll be able to build forms. Okay? So let's go uh, to our application. And the first simple thing we're going to do, you're going to find this is going to be really easy to do. First simple thing we're going to do is we're going to open up this application and we're going to build a form. So go to Design View. That's all you have to do. And uh, in Design View, there's a form. And you're just going to drag that form to the screen. And just drag the form to the screen. And there it is. There's the form uh, right there. And you can give it a width and size if you want. I'm, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to say OK. And it's a form item. It's already uh, tagged by uh, Burrito. And there it is right there. So I'll just stretch it out. OK? And so what I'm going to do, I'm going to populate that with different elements. And it's going to automatically create form code for me. OK? And then I'm going to center that and everything as we move on. So let's go back to source code and see what we did. We suddenly created this form item right here. See that? Did you do that? So what I want to do now, I actually want to recreate uh, the form that I already created done. And so let's go back and look at that form. And what you see here is a panel. And then inside the panel, you have your form. And then you have a number one and a number two. You have an add them button and you have results. Okay. Um, n not unsimilar to what you're going to be doing. You'll be working with forms in much the same way. Now let's go take a look at the source. I'm going to click on panel. When I go to source, that should highlight where the source is. So you can see the form itself is inside the panel. You see that right there? So I need to drag a, for a panel component on, drag the form inside, and then start adding all these different components. Like uh, you can see right here, there's um, a number right here, number one, and then here's number two. And then below that, there's going to be um, a button I believe yes that's my button and then there's going to be the uh, probably a, a string here and a label that's actually I'm going to output the, the results to very easy program but it shows the basics of building forms so let's go back to our program and the great thing here is you're totally in design view which is fun so I'm just going to move this form over a little bit okay and I'm going to drag my com panel component out of the screen so let's find a panel right here. We're going to drag it out and just drop it on the screen. And I can go ahead and give it a name. So if I double click right here, you see this opens up right here in the screen. And I'm going to just type in add two numbers. Add two numbers. Hit return. I just titled my panel. That was pretty easy, wasn't it? Now once again, there's no styling here, so you're going to want to style this. Now what I want to do, I actually want to drag and drop my form right into the, 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 uh, the panel itself. So I want to the form I may have made it too big, so let me make it a little bit smaller. So if I've been smart, I actually would drag the panel first and then drag the form into it. So what I, now that I have my, I shrunk my uh, f form just a little bit, just to be a little bit more manageable. Here, here we go. And it's going to drag it over and drop it right into the panel. And so let me do that. Here we go. And you see the panel highlight it. There you go. And there's my form. I'm just going to stretch it out so it fits, fits inside the panel for me very nicely. 
Okay, and that panel's a little bit small, so I'm going to actually open the panel up a little bit. There you go. And I'm going to drag my form out to fit the panel. Alright, so I'm doing all this graphically. You could do this programmatically, but you know, I've worked with a lot of designers in the past, so it's really easy to teach them flex if you start with the design side and go back and forth. So let's go to the source and see if that's indeed do we have a panel inside a form, or a form inside a panel. And there we do. You can see that there is indeed a form inside the panel. Okay, go ahead and do that. I'm going to pause. And I want you to go ahead and do that. So at this point, I want to drag that number one in there and that number two in there. So I'm going to look for an input uh, control. So let's look for one. So there's my first input. Let's drag and just drop that. Text input. So I can give that a, a, a name. I'm just going to double click on the label and call it number one. So I call that first number. Got it? So I'm just going to drag another one on, and I'm going to call that second number. And then, and then I'm going to come along here, and I'm going to drag my button in. And I'm just going to call add or something like that, like add them. Okay. I'll just get rid of the label and I'll just double click it on the button and go add buttons. Add numbers. And so once that's done, I, I'm going to drag a label out, that's going to be my result. And I'll show you how to do that programmatically. So I've almost got it all done. I'm going to double click and call that result. Okay. So what I'm going to want you to do now, before we do any programming, I'm going to want you to create that. What do you think? Okay. Go ahead and take the screen back.